Hello and welcome back to our issue with the encoder, rotor encoder. I hope you remember, this is the encoder. If I turn it, I get clockwise and if I'm turning it a little bit too fast or maybe I have a wrong timing in my program, then I, even if I turn all the time clockwise, sometimes I get a counterclockwise. We said, okay, this is a timing issue because we are not exactly looking right after a change. Yeah, we may be looking here because of the program cycle. Yeah? This means we want somehow, we want somehow to, to check if this is changed and then whenever, whenever there is a change, we, we want to immediately react on it. Yeah? For us, it doesn't really matter at which position in the program we are. Yeah? We want to react now. Yeah? We want to stop the program temporary. We want to stop the program temporary and then react on it and then maybe resume with the program. Okay? So, we want to interrupt the program okay this is what we are going to do we are using so-called interrupts interrupts are triggered yeah? interrupts is something has to trigger an interrupt okay if an interrupt is triggered it is interrupting it is stopping the current program executing its own internet inter <laughs> interrupt service routine ESR yeah interrupt service routine and then after this is finished we proceed okay our Arduino has the possibilities of attaching interrupts to to pins yeah? so we can say Whenever on a certain pin something is changed, execute an internet, 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 interrupt service routine. Okay. If you are looking on the Arduino homepage, yeah, under the keyword attach interrupt, attach interrupt is exactly what we are looking for. Yeah, we want to attach the interrupt to to a certain pin number. Yeah. And there we can see on our board, yeah, the Uno, yeah, also the Nano and the Mini, two pins are available for interrupt. Pin number three, two, and pin number three. Okay. On other boards, like the Mega for instance, there are more interrupts available. Uh, Uno, Wi-Fi, Revision 2, Nano, Every, all pins. There are these this, this Arduino boards. Yeah? Here we only have two or three yeah? where we can attach our internet ser inter interrupt service routine. Ah, this, what is with this word? Interrupt service routine. Yeah. We will do this right now. I will save my program save as, save as under 30 rotor encoder oh, interrupt I'll call it interrupt okay so everything still stays the same yeah how is this how is this uh, attach interrupt working? Yeah. Attach interrupt interrupt and then you would maybe think of pin number then we need an interrupt, interrupt service routine yeah. interrupt service routine we will we will write I will can check encoder check encoder 
and there we will write whatever we think is necessary. So, check encoder. Uh, this is the internet service routine and then we want to react and there are several possibilities. Yeah, there are several possibilities. A look here shows us we can low whenever the pin is low. Change whenever the pin is changing, rising whenever the pin goes from low to high or falling whenever the pin goes from high to low. Okay. So we want to use change here. This you would expect, right? Wrong. Yeah. Here, we cannot just say a pin number. Uh, we need to say the interrupt number. Uh, and the interrupt number and the pin number, unfortunately, on our UNO, they are not the same. Uh, if we are looking below, you see pin number. Here's the UNO board. Pin number 2 is interrupt number 0. Pin number 3 is interrupt number 1. Yeah. It is really annoying yeah, because last time I simply changed here the numbers, if you remember. Yeah. So I would also have to change here the, the interrupt number. Yeah. Just because it's not 2 or 3, I have to change here from 0 to 1. Yeah. This is really annoying, especially if you're using the same program maybe on another on another board like the Leonardo. Yeah. Then suddenly it's vice versa. Yeah. They thought about it. Yeah. And there is a program. It there's a command, let's say digital pin to interrupt digital pin to interrupt and this is exactly delivering in our case it's delivering one because pin A is is pin number three and pin number three is interrupt number one yeah the good thing is I do not have to take care about this it will simply attach the correct I just tell it I want to watch pin A, pin number 3, and it will return the correct interrupt number for the attach interrupt. Maybe a little bit complicated, but okay. So, in our interrupt service routine, what are we doing? Yeah. We're checking the encoder. We check if both are the same. Yeah. So basically, we do this. Exactly this. Okay. We only okay. Pin A is not is not working now. I can substitute pin A with with digital read pin a equals and if it equals then it's turned counterclockwise and here we have the right else turned clockwise okay so this looks good If both are equal, then we set turned counterclockwise. Otherwise, 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 <laughs> if not, if they're not equal, we say it should it is turned clockwise. Yeah? However, there's one issue. These two variables need to be now global variables. 
they need to be now global variables okay uh, because I want to access them in this in my interrupt interrupt service routine and in my loop okay this last bin A I do not need anymore this is handled now by the interrupt because I said change I do not have to check if it's changed it I know it changed because otherwise it would I would not get cold yeah yeah so that's good I can get rid of this last pin A I do not need this pin A there's the button pressed and so on uh, this I don't need anymore I just have to react on my on my things yeah and here I turned clockwise have to reset it to false because otherwise it w I would not get out then I get one turned clockwise and I will always increase 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 yeah. mm -hmm. looks pretty cool I think this looks pretty pretty good right now so I attach an interrupt on pin number A in case pin number A is changing I will call check encoder check encoder is called if pin number A and pin number B are equal then I have turned counterclockwise if they are not equal I have turned clockwise if I realize that it turned clockwise sometime later in my program then I increase the value and said okay I have handled this turned clockwise if I know that it has turned counterclockwise, I reduce the value and reset the turned counterclockwise. The thing is now that during program execution, yeah, we can stop everywhere. Yeah, we can get interrupted everywhere in this program. Yeah. So th there might these two variables they might change in the meantime during program execution so i have to use a special word here it's called volatile this means hey take care this special variable here this is maybe this is subject of change this is somehow from from the outside this helps the compiler a little bit it will it will structure the code a little bit different from the function there is no difference it's just it's just this this compiler thing okay let's upload see if this is working upload it Uh -huh. they're still counterclockwise let's check let's only execute this here if we are not turned counterclockwise and not turned clockwise so if the first tick we did have already checked upload <laughs> tuned turned it's not tuned I want to tune, so I have to turn. Mm -hmm. 
still the same still the same I will use here instead of change I will use here raise rising is rising I use here rising getting worse did get worse so I'm using falling at least I can help myself now here Let's shorten it, the code of the interrupt service routine. This might also be No, it's really bad. Now it's really bad. It's not working as good as I expected. Well, it looks like a dot. Button, is it this working? Okay, the reset was working. Maybe, maybe the encoder is a little bit, a little bit broken, ill, dizzy. Let's see if this one here is working better. I have some spare parts. Oh, so this is now again something which might get interesting. Which might get interesting. Code a change. Ma, well, I'm not sure if this is working better. Don't know exactly what the issue is here, I have to admit. Yeah. But at least it's working it's working somehow. Yeah. And at least the uh, code is shortened quite a lot. Yeah. With this internet interrupt service routine.
one thing I want to check what if I'm connecting this this directly huh? let's see if this is working better I am now wow they are disconnected we started the music Attach the 5 volt to ground to ground ground and 5 volts okay then green yellow orange green green yellow orange now I got rid of of the board let's see reset still the same maybe a little bit better maybe a little bit better yeah I think what we see here is a little bit uh, uh, electrical issue as well yeah maybe we see bouncing bouncing of the contacts this is also a possible thing do we see this this bouncing bouncing contacts one thing I have to mention I played a little bit around with this yeah and I found the issue I found the issue in the code, what I have done, I have added this delay microseconds. I'm waiting 1000 microseconds, so one millisecond. Yeah, and then I'm comparing pin A with pin B. Yeah, what does this mean? What is this good for? I said maybe there's a little bit bouncing. Yeah, what does what does bouncing mean? Let's have a look again on our our drawing here bouncing mean that this is not a good edge here yeah? bouncing means that these edges they are not solid they are switching several times and then stay solid yeah so this means I mean there are spring loaded things there and they may bounce literally bounce yeah? and we can see this if this is getting contact not contact contact not contact contact not contact co then we're down okay so these are not really edges here these are bouncing a little time yeah? and this bouncing I have simply to wait this I have done by adding this by adding this delay micro microseconds nothing else has changed and if we look now at the behavior okay I turn now much much better you see counterclockwise other direction also working now ooh, there is one but much much better yeah. so indeed it seems like a suspected bouncing issue clockwise 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 yes this is sometimes there is still there is still a counterclockwise but now this really looks solid I would say okay deep bounce deep bounce always a good idea anyway you see what you have learned for sure is how to program an interrupt yeah. this is how it is done yeah. attach interrupt certain pin make something there okay use volatile one thing here some codes are not working 
So for instance, millis. Millis is always returning the same value inside the internet interrupt service routine. There are some, some specialties. Uh, you have summarized them in here yeah, about the interrupt service routines on the homepage of Arduino, arduino.cc. You can see yeah, it's also written use volatile. Yeah, micros will it's the same like millis, but micros delay is not allowed, delay microseconds will work normal and so on. Yeah, you have to, to, to note that not all code is working. Okay. Yeah, so that's for the interrupt. That's for the interrupt. Next time we will use our encoder. Yeah to move to move a little motor yeah but not a dc motor we will use a servo motor this will then be the next topic servo motors okay with all this searching for error and so on i almost forgot your task i mean there is a task code it that you can control The brightness of LED or if you want you can control the speed of the motor does not really matter to me yeah just control an output according to input so you can influence it yeah for those who think it's not enough you can test this press the button turn off press the button turn on with the same with the same brightness as before. Okay, so this is the task for this time. Thank you very much for listening. See you next time. Goodbye.